Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss about a very important topic which is cruelty as a ground for divorce. Cruelty basically means the events that have adverse effects on the mental and physical health, social status and lifestyle of the other person. Cruelty may be mental or physical, intentional or unintentional. It is the quality of being cruel, mercilessness and hard-heartedness. We can figure out that cruelty refers to the violent acts. However, petty outrageous behavior or differences between the spouses does not come in the ambit of cruelty because this is something that is common in a day-to-day -day married life. Conducts that would amount to cruelty should be grave and severe in nature. Grave violence doesn't always mean physical violence. Though physical violence is an essential factor that constitutes cruelty, but apart from that, a continuous process of ill treatment or mental or physical torture to either of the spouse would also amount to cruelty. Any physical violence, bodily injuries, the threat to life, limb and health apparently causing apprehension in the mind would constitute physical cruelty on the spouse. Physical violence is one of the most common reasons for divorce. Whereas mental cruelty is kind of more challenging than proving physical cruelty. If any woman is conflicted and has to deal with any kind of mental stress or has to compromise her mental peace for her spouse or have to constantly go through the mental agony, then that amounts to mental cruelty. Mental strain can happen in various ways so there are no specific criteria which would amount to mental cruelty. Mental cruelty is a state of mind and feeling with one of the spouses due to the behavior or behavioral pattern by the other. Unlike the cause of physical cruelty, mental cruelty is difficult to establish by direct evidence. It is necessarily a matter of inference to be drawn from the facts and circumstances of the case. In this case, wife filed a false case against her husband on the ground of husband having girlfriend, which is proved as false in the court of law, so it can be considered as cruelty against husband. In this case, the court observed that cruelty can be physical or mental. Cruelty, which is a ground for dissolution of marriage, may be defined as willful and unjustifiable conduct of such character to cause danger to life, bodily or mentally, or as to give rise to a reasonable apprehension of such danger. So, we can conclude that anybody can reach the court for the divorce on the basis of cruelty, but the case will be decided by the mere facts of that case. Court can extend or summarize the meaning of cruelty according to their own interpretation but within the boundary of the law and without being prejudiced. Thank you.